I am an Orlando artist now. I've been working in this town for about two years. I've uh, been living in Florida since uh, 2001. My career as an artist has taken me around a couple different cities in the south, so I've definitely had a lot of influences just from southern art. Uh, so yeah, I try to incorporate a lot of um, surrealism, pop art, um, super flat, this regional art movement in Miami. A lot of that work has been incorporated into the, the styles of this show. Uh, my inspiration has come all from uh, the emotion that I was trying to portray, which was desire. I, I found that uh, I needed to somehow give that emotion something so abstract, some sort of um, concrete feel, so I decided to um, give it some sort of personification. So this, this work is all the personification of, of that emotion of desire. I actually used to have a studio here in this space, back when it was uh, oval. Uh, produced a lot of paintings in this space. We always had uh, at least three of us here at all times just bouncing ideas off of each other and creating art and feeding off of each other's creativity. I was always born with the, the creativity. My grandmother always hung up my pictures on the fridge like everybody else's, but she hung them there extra long and always encouraged it. And then, you know, my parents encouraged it. And then, you know, I moved here to follow that dream and now I'm uh, Actually, an Imagineer at Disney, still living as an artist. And I've been a longtime art supporter and supporter of the of Oval and now of the Downtown Arts District. Well, Kelly is also the judge of the art show that's here tonight. And this show is the Oval Reunion Show, and I was the last president of Oval. So we have a judge, we have an Oval artist, and we have an Ovalite. I'm an old retired librarian from Maine. I worked in Boston, uh, I've been here 15 years and I've been doing these, this artwork for about five years. I did a little pottery and stained glass and I love Jackson Pollock and uh, I love the freedom of uh, uh, dripping and throwing the paint. It's oil paint so I have to wear these little swimmer's goggles so I don't get oil in my, and I'm out in the backyard. The, the canvas is on the grass and I can paint from four directions. Most of these things occur to me at like three in the morning. I have a notebook near my bed and I, and I write down the idea for colors or um, composition a little bit. I have a background, a foreground, and uh, they're planned except when I throw the paint, I have no control at that point. I'm having a second little career as an old retired guy and I'm having fun, you know. I am a tattooer at Rise Above Tattoo, and I own Rebel Reprints, which is a printing company for tattooers and alternative artwork. What inspires me to create this is it's all very tattoo related, and then I brought a little bit of like traditional Japanese like sumi painting into it and mixed it with the like traditional tattoo related imagery. The artwork behind me, these are two Japanese style bodysuits that you would get in tattoo, like as a tattoo. And then I did the brush stroke around the outside of them to make it fit with the theme that I have going with the rest of the art. Choosing art as a career, I've just been into art my entire life. So it just seemed the most natural thing to do. Most cities don't have anything like this. And you can't, they have some professional galleries and it's hard to get in here. Anybody can start out. The Orlando art scene has grown so much since 2000 when the City Arts Factory first originated. And it's really been, this, this show is really a retrospective of where we have been and where we've gone in those 15 years. And to me, this is a, a great night to not only see their works and how they've evolved, but also to meet up with a lot of our classic artists that have been around for the 15 years and have seen the art scene come full circle. The Orlando art scene, I feel like it's it's getting better and better and like it's definitely there's a lot of people here tonight and there's a lot of awesome artwork in the building. So There's just so many great local artists. It's um, an untapped market. There's just so many great artists that haven't been discovered and I feel like they have so much potential so I love being involved in that and having the chance to grow alongside of all of these amazing artists.